radioactive wasteland? This is the British opinion. <laughs> no, no, no. That, mm. The Eiffel Tower was melted into slag, if that gives you any idea. The Eiffel Tower was an ego piece built by a maniac. Well, it is it not the true splendor of France. It doesn't exist anymore. That is all well and good. Neither does Paris. Paris? Sight of wonders! <laughs> Radioactive tar pit. <laughs> and the Louvre is definitely underground. So! I know we have a new mission assignment. <laughs> Rebuild Paris? Oh. Project Utopia. Oh no. Par France is actively unlivable right Let's now. Let's kill this, this thing first. This fool is going to suggest that we try and rebuild all of France. Let's kill no. this thing first. And while that's an admirable goal, you're going to have to work with us until we can get some proper terraforming utilities online. Tell you what, here's what you do. You go to France, you build a bunch of gothic cathedrals, encourage all the dragons that are currently there to live in those, then collapse them on top of it. <laughs> That's the only way we know how to kill dragons, at least. <laughs> I suppose we do not have to build France in France. True. France could be everywhere! <laughs> theoretically, France doesn't exist anymore, so... National boundaries kind yeah, of went you know, out you, you with. You can always take New Orleans back. Na national boundaries kind of went out with everything else. Newest Orleans. Yeah, newest Orleans. <laughs> you just go back to Orleans. You know, Napoleon was right to get rid of it all those years ago. It's just a big swamp. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yes, it is. <laughs> That's why they didn't nuke it. Actually, it's not so, a swamp. It's, it's, it's not a swamp anymore. <laughs> that would that would require water. <laughs> really, I would have expected with all of the nuclear radiation that the water would have overflown it, like no. it has already. No, tried. that was that was me joking. That was <laughs> that was me joking. That wasn't him. So Matisse Duval responds to a voice in the sky. Matisse Duval continues to speak to himself. <laughs> He has this. This whole conversation has just been in his head. You all are like down the hall. <laughs> Regardless, we have a repair to kill. I do suggest explosives. Uh, yeah. If you feel free to go ahead and try that. So, we do we want to wait for it or leave another trail? Uh, that's what I've been doing. Let's just walk around and. Yeah, I'm going to trail. go in, I'm going to, do I, the spear, you said the, the mist had moved on. Yes. Where'd it go to? It just vanished. Well, just not, disappeared to be, entirely. not to be a complete downer, Mr. Wargod, but uh, the way you've been doing it has been leading it, has been letting it run amok and almost got you killed. I mean, fair enough. But there were only one of him. Yeah. Now there are six. I mean, there were three of them. What's wow, its prey been so far? There were three? Yeah. Now, I am intrigued. There is a spirit that is around it. <clears throat> I wonder if it is accompanying all of them, or if they all have their own spirit. Uh, I wouldn't know about that. I know that a sword kills them. So I got the first two. Wait, let us find it. No, is there any sort of prey that it likes to go for? Living? <laughs> We've seen along these tunnels that it has quite a variety of victims, mm -hmm. mainly anything it can de decapitate, it seems. Pretty much. I can imagine if it had no head, it could uh, be satisfied with the disemboweling. It likes to slice things. Well, you're... I'm assuming a little bit more familiar with this region than we are. Where is the next the highest concentration of ghouls and goblins? Uh, Subway, mostly. The Subway is also full of many maintenance hedges for it to hide in, yes? Yeah. That's mostly why I've been trying to find it when it comes out into the warehouses and buildings of the city. Because trying to follow it through the Subway is a fool's errand. What happens if you uh, run the river over with a subway train? It dies, I'm certain. I mean, it dies if you cut its head off with a sword. He says, holding up his sword. Which, you see, is definitely dirty with blood of something. I feel like hitting it with an exploding subway car 
would be a satisfying ending. It would also likely collapse one of the streets of Rome, which yeah. previous yeah. statement re live here. Right, we don't want to blow up everything. <clears throat> you have such a downhill way of looking at things. I say I mean, we sit around for a while, see if it comes back to us. I have, I, a feeling, I have a feeling it's going to look for more prey first, trying to set up another art installation. It may also try to find more of itself. Well, let us go cut it off. You think it will head for the subways? Yeah, probably. Why do we not see if we can beat it there? <clears throat> he gets up and uh, grabs a rag off of his belt, cleans off his sword a bit, and then sheathes it on the back of his belt. Sounds good to me. Matisse will begin heading for the nearest subway. Uh, he has no clue where it is, so he's actually just walking in a direction very <laughs> confidently, though. Big man. This way. Ah. When in Rome? Eh? Right. That would be that would be correct, except he's British. So I, he was still I, mean, I would like to correct you on the fact that he said he is living here. This is Rome, is it not? <laughs> and he is living in Rome. That makes him a Roman. <laughs> that is how this works. Quite a pedantic argument, considering national boundaries have long since collapsed. What, what but... country was that? Well, our edge, the Carpathian Mountains, technically supposed to be before the apocalypse. Uh, Wasn't Car it Carpathian Mountains are sort of like Turkey, Georgia? But we had to go through Turkey, so I'm assuming we're in the, the, the Turkey, Georgia yeah, area. Right, well, Georgia. Uh, other side of other side of the other side of the Black Sea, I think, from Georgia. But, um, but yeah, it's it's your that Turkey, Transylvania area. Oh, that technically makes you Transylvanian, then. <laughs> no. You're not living there you can yet. take the man out of France. You can't take the France out of the man, even if you completely eradicate it from the world. <laughs> <laughs> this man, he knows what he's up. I'm just using your logic. <clears throat> okay. We start, we, we're right. walking. Let's go. And uh, he, he, uh, he, he heads off down one hallway, uh, which I'm assuming you guys follow. Yes. A uh, couple turns later, and you're at a set of stairs that lead back up to the surface. Um, now that you're not following the trail of bodies, the, the, the area you notice, it has been fairly pretty, has been pretty, uh, fairly picked clean. Uh, mostly, like, like, there's not a lot of rubble, there's not also not a lot of trash or anything. It looks like they've been living here, I mean, like I said, they've been living here for a few months, and, um, it, they, they have, they have gone through a lot of trouble to pick every possible useful bit of whatever they can out of the city. Um, so, like, it, 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 it's weird, because other cities you've been in, you've seen, you know, rubble and trash and, and destroyed things, but here, where all of that, or, like, wrecked cars or stuff, but here, all of that has been cleared away, and but uh, uh, possibly, potentially recycled uh, somehow. He, uh, turns off onto a major thoroughfare and walks down a few blocks and before turning and there you are at a sewer, at a, a subway entrance stairs going down below the below the uh, ground, and he just sort of indicates it. There you go. I walk up to the door and it's uh, it's stairs going it's down. Oh, I walk down the stairs. And you're yeah. going. He he lets you lead and falls behind. Uh, you step you step down into an old subway. There's uh, <clears throat> tile walls mostly still intact. Uh, <clears throat> lights long gone. Lights long turned off. It's very dark in here. He uh, he pulls out a flashlight, hooks it to his rifle, turns it on. Some of us don't have human suck vision. In fact, none of us have human suck vision. Except him, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> click click, and he he sort of has a so he has a flashlight swooping the area behind you guys as you all move forward, uh, and you find yourself at an empty at an empty. Uh, uh, stop train station. There's the rails are clear. There's no train. Um, you imagine that this probably goes quite a way. Like just just judging by the structure of the thing, you imagine this probably goes quite a ways toward. Like you could you could theoretically take this to a collapse, probably to a collapsed tunnel that connects back to the Deadlands, um, if they cleared it. Because it's like everything structurally is fine. It's just empty. So they've just completely picked out everything, basically. <laughs> so, either they picked out everything here, or there wasn't a whole lot here to pick out. Like, so there certainly are no, there's certainly no evidence that there was a train here that they cleared out. You, mm -hmm. you can't imagine that they would have been able, from what you saw previously, you can't imagine that they would have hauled away an entire train. Mm -hmm. All right. 
Are there any... I assume there's a lot of, you know, maintenance hatches, these smaller tunnels branching out that yeah. this thing can probably hide in. Mm-hmm. Always... Yeah, you can, you can see maintenance hatches every, every, you know, every little bit. So we just walk down the center of the tracks and see what tries to jump on us. <clears throat> I guess we just look for evidence of this thing. It doesn't really seem to uh, <coughs> like to clean out bodies. Okay. Uh, folks can give me a perception. logic perception check. Hey, I remembered it this time. Yay. Huzzah, says I. Is it logic perception or wits and perception? Uh, logic perception. I was intuition perception. Sorry, intuition perception. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Sorry, I fucked it up again. Yeah, because I get two more dice. Never mind. I screwed it up. Oh well. Rule of a lot of twos. Four successes. I got two successes. Three successes. Four. Two, how many, Zach? Uh, four. Four, four, William was four as well? Three. 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 <clears throat> Wait till Austin gets back from his merry jaunt to the bathroom so he can roll two. I have arranged my dice in Wooburg order. Why have you arranged your dice in Wooburg order? I felt like it. <laughs> Why'd you feel like it? Well, that's good. We're glad well, you're I was happy. about to roll for you. The answer is in the question. Intuition, perception. I don't know. Sometimes it can be fake. Need to roll some dice. Intuition perception. Two. Two? Okay. Two. So, uh, you... Those of you that rolled three or higher, so everyone but Ian and Matisse, uh, you hear a scuttling sound from further down the train tracks. Something crawling off somewhere. Point my gun towards that direction. You don't see anything, you just heard it. So is there any way to predict where this thing will uh, go for cover? Uh, it likes to eat things after it gets done playing with them. So, that place dark, cold, and cozy. And then we need to find the maintenance exit, and uh, I can install a couple additions to it. We could probably look for the maintenance bay of the subway. Um, it's through the offices. That sounds good. That'll connect to most of the maintenance shafts in this section, although some might be at exterior maintenance stations. Where that scuttling happened, was there... Were there any patches very close to you it? You can't see. It was. It's beyond your sight further down the subway tunnel. I guess we can just keep continuing in that direction. Well, they're having a... The, the other three are sort of standing up on the station. They didn't hear it, so... Ah, uh, well... Let's head... That direction. Head that direction. There's some kind of a noise, some kind of a scuttling. Where? Well, let's go that way. I point out the direction. So, yeah, it's, it's actually down the tracks. Like... Off the side, down the tracks, where they were talking about through the offices, are up, not down there. Mm-hmm. So, well, I, I said we go follow the tracks for a while. Up to you guys. Because there's, <coughs> this going to be in that direction, I guess. <coughs> All right. See what's down there. He hops off the side onto the onto the rail tracks and points his gun and flashlight down the down the uh, down the tunnel. Starts walking. I hop down, flip out my motorcycle, and uh... start riding. Mm-hmm. Make me a ground, make me a ground vehicles check. Pilot ground, pilot ground vehicles with a minus two penalty because so, you are trying to drive a motorcycle uh, down train tracks, and it's not meant for that. It's just. Well, I guess the tracks are also in fairly good condition as well. Yeah. Nice. Most of the underground tracks are, unless the ground, unless the ceiling collapsed. Yeah. One, because they're two, underground. Three, four, five, six successes. Thank you. And down the head down the rails. Well, I mean, it's battery operated, so it's actually not going to make that sort of noise. Yeah, but you yeah, but you can put a fabricator on it and make it well, sound like no, the you, way it bounces over the tr- also uh, that the, it's the, 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 the rails. Okay. 
you can, you can put an audio you can put like an audio uh in oh your yeah <laughs> well right now it's off though because we're in stealth well i mean we're not super stealthy but you know we're, we're not really stealthy <laughs> so it's <laughs> instead of <laughs> yeah <laughs> As the tire bounces across the tracks. Besides, why would I want it to make that? That's like the Harley distinction noise, and Harley's an American. <laughs> that's that's all motorcycle noises. Well, yeah, but the Harley is a very distinctive uh, one. Um, Kid came out with one that had a silencer. I mean, yeah, but, but nobody liked it because it didn't make the yeah, noise, it made so they stopped doing it. Yep. So all my motorcycles are made that way to be obnoxious. You want an obnoxious motorcycle if you're riding. Exactly, motorcycle. that's the only point of. You want to be obnoxious. obnoxious. When I was looking at motorcycles, I was looking at not obnoxious motorcycles. And you don't have a motorcycle. No, not well. Yeah, it would be very bad for you to have a motorcycle, Austin. Why? Having a seizure at <laughs> seven miles an hour on a motorcycle. Me this. Having a seizure in a car would also be really bad. Right? Yeah, yeah um, but on a mo but in a car, there's some less semblance of balance. And there's protection from the elements. Yeah. On a motorcycle, it's you and open air. <laughs> like, anyway. there's a chassis around you in a car. <laughs> Regardless. Anyways. Um, Regardless. You guys walk down the tunnel. Make me some more perception checks. Intuition perception. Oh, that's a rule I can make. <laughs> I have to sit this far back from the mic when the mic when the camera's right there so that I'm not just like all up in the face of the camera. Okay. So now I'll just see a giant box that just is your face. It just, 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 just looks the close up of your nose. I mean, you know, nasal close ups, they're in right now. I have totally one yeah. success. <laughs> is that success? No. <laughs> I got Only three. Three? three? Five. Five. Hey, you saw something. Look at my Dude, eyes. I see the world. So, uh, Gilda sees everything in the world in existence. Yay! Um, you can see your house. You, from you see. <laughs> I, can see I can see. I can see my house. Have a house, and you're not up anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Gilda <laughs> consumed <laughs> mushrooms and sees through time. <laughs> um, <laughs> God, it's got like a white picket fence and a dog and everything. Gilda, that's 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 a painting on a wall. <laughs> Why is there a painting in the subway track? That's a good question. Welcome to Rome. Because that's that's a, Rome. Billboards. <laughs> that's that's actually what yeah. they oh, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, wouldn't those be inside the train? No, and not, no. like in the because you're going scene. past. Because you're going past. I mean, yeah. Anyway, what do I see? I guess all the stations, yeah. They After make, they make super long my, billboards of the train tracks so people passing by what to look do at. I see? Through time, I already said no. Um, <laughs> so everyone, you're, everyone's sort of looking around, and, and, and mostly all you can hear is the sound of a motorcycle thudding along the rail, the rail tracks, a power suit going, <laughs> um, Cadmus clanking every time he takes a step. Uh, but a very noisy party. You do anyway, see... Have a metal. You you do see just this weird reflection on like the ceiling, um, from the light of the flashlight that that uh, that Ares has. It like you'd expect the ceiling to be mostly rock, and it mostly is, um, with uh, you know with the occasional elect electrical thing just like in, in it and, and for the rails. Um, most of the reflections you see are flat like lines this is bulbous slightly it's just sort of like there's a just a slight strange reflection on the ceiling all right who's who's near me everybody We're all okay like group okay i mean he's probably there too oh, okay. i'm just slightly ahead all right okay. i'm gonna well who's next to me because i'm gonna nudge whoever's next to me uh, probably where would you? Pro well, you're you're a gunslinger, and there's only three people in the party with guns, so probably either Ares or Cadmus. Okay. Oh, she'll like elbow Cadmus, like nudge him, and point up. I look up. <laughs> All right. I. It's hard to tell, but yeah, you do see an odd, a slightly odd cyber eye. Um, EM scanning. <laughs> Um, what, how, what, what exactly the inspiration does Ian give you? Uh, I just know if there's any electrical or radio signals coming from it. I mean, there's electrical signals all over the place, not from that. Am I, am I picking up anything in my, um, spirit 
whatever it is, my astral. Oh, yeah, are you are you actually sensing? Yeah, sensing? I, I I didn't leave. Um, no, you're not picking it okay, up. Okay, cool. Well, then I, I don't care. I and you look at it with your thermal vision, and it doesn't. Thermal vision. Well, looking at it with it just sort of blends in with the wall, whatever it is. The only way you can even tell it's there is from the light. If 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 Ares wasn't there with a the flashlight, you wouldn't have seen it. How loose is the gravel here? Not very, but... It's more, Can I find like, a random stone on the ground? Make me a perception rule. Not a perception. One success. Yeah, you can find, like, a small stone. I chuck it at the thing. Make me a throwing weapon? Yeah, it's, thro throwing, it's throwing at agility. Agility throwing. If you don't have the skill, you're defaulting, which is, I think, a minus one. Or a minus two. A, a default is a minus two, isn't it? Three success, I don't remember. Nice. See, and as the, as you throw the rock, the reflection moves, and then the rock. <coughs> Found something. Stop. Aries. Look up. Aries, look around. Aries uh, moves the flashlight, and as it does, you just see it glisten across this black carapace um, uh, hanging from the ceiling. Which just goes <laughs> and drops. Oh, hey, fire squad. Go ahead and roll initiative for me. Oh. Hello, initiative, my old friend. I've come to roll like crap again. <laughs> yeah. I get a 12. <laughs> 12 from Eon. 13. 13 from Gilda. I only got 20. Shucks. 20 from Matisse. Yes. You're sitting right next to him. You have... No one's going to stop you. I have. There, I can get you a knife over here if you want it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to murder my closer. husband. Just want to get his attention. Yeah, exactly. That. Yeah, that's what, that's what the knife's for. <laughs> that's a dagger, not a knife. It's close enough. I need to kill the husband or the whatever of my child. Bobby? <laughs> that's my oh, that's my dagger. I like this one. I got a uh, Cassio? one of the first huh? oh, sales. Oh, 13. Got us? 11. That is the minimum I can roll on my initiative. All right. So, what's your agility, um, uh, Matisse? Agility or reaction? Agility. Four. What's your reaction? Seven. Okay. Um, so, this thing drops down, <clears throat> and you immediately hear another clicking sound? Um, as one, as something slices out at Gilda from the side. We found a nest. Oh no. Why always me? Because you noticed it. Because you've got a gun. <laughs> I actually threw a rocket. Yeah. At it. Yep. Yeah, that's not really a threat. Alright, uh, you can roll your reaction intuition if you want to dodge. I would love to dodge. And another one is coming at Cadmus. There you go, you get one too. Always focus the DPS. No, you always focus the healers, which is not what they're doing. Cadmus, you can roll initiative into reaction tuition if you want. Well, we've heard that. Obviously, he's a healer. That's true. It's not. Three. Okay. I'm going to need you to roll body and armor. It also kind of depends on the system. With a minus three. Depending on the system, it's totally normal to focus the DPS if there isn't some kind of a revival system. Yeah, like second end, you can focus the DPS. Uh, with minus three to your armor, by the way. Four successes. Okay, well, then that's the appropriate amount of that. All right. Uh, you managed to step out of the way as something slides past you, slicing. Okay. It rolled four to hit That's you, fine. but high to hit Gilda. What'd you roll? Four. Right. Do I still have uh, that armor from you? No. You, you, lost an hour. you take no, two no, points I, of physical I, damage. Just, as long as I... Oh, okay. as, yeah. as something's I claws sink into your side. <clears throat> um, something is coming at Eon as well. Of course. Oh. Uh. 
Next question. How many people are there? Oh, well, you'll find out in a minute. Well, as it turns out, Ari thought he'd killed three. No, he thought he'd killed two. I thought he'd killed two. He probably did kill two. He, he did kill two. <laughs> I don't think there's any... I mean... It's hard to it's hard to mistake killing something. Um, I mean, and did roll reaction. No, it's hard to mistake reaction. decapitating something. Yes, that Which too. Reaction. Oh, okay, reaction. And I mean, there's several parties that are pretty certain they decapitated someone who's injured that later. And, and armor. Or what reaction tuition first. Intuition. Unless you want to use, oh. unless you want to dodge, which will take five points out of your initiative, and you can add your gymnastics to it. There's like two books and one live stream that I can think of right now. <laughs> <laughs> Necromancers that have the clone that have the clone spell don't count. And I just want to summon. Well, if they have the clone spell, then they did indeed decapitate him. Yeah, they did there kill him. There's another they one. Just, <clears throat> there was just another one. Three successes. All right. Uh, you need to roll body and armor. Now it's okay. Uh, or wizards who are possessed by a demon and can only be killed with the mythical axe cane fire. Or other magical nonsense that can happen, like revenants. Six. Six successes? Yes. All right. The dwarves definitely decapitated, not on the double four, fold. Five, he just got six, back up and put his seven. head back on. You take one point of physical damage. One physical. Which, again, yep. is hard to mistake. So that was one, two, three, and one is going at Ares as well. Takes four. Well, that rolled high. It rolled the highest to hit the other NPC. Hopefully the other NPC is really good at taking hits. I mean, he's fairly good at taking hits. People don't get named Ares for nothing, you know? I mean, you can name anyone Ares. Yeah. So you can give anybody a name you, you want to. Player NPCs aren't named Ares <laughs> for nothing. There right? you go. <laughs> Far from me. I don't know what I'm still doing. What? Nothing. Nothing. His dive was under the table and I was trying to get it with my foot and failing epically. Alright, it hits it hits Aries as well. I mean if you gotta do something wrong, you might as well do it wrong big. Yeah. Like touching Not as something good. All right. and so yeah, these things Having just lap so one me. drops from the ceiling and, and three exactly. more one drops from the ceiling and three more leap out from the sides, um, slicing into Eon, Gilda, Missing Cadmus, and Ares, uh, all of whom sort of stagger back as you get sliced. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you, minus three to your armor when you rolled. Oh, minus three to armor. Yeah, minus three to your armor. Uh, okay, so I gotta... Reroll. Yeah, just, just go ahead and... I'll, I'll leave it for now. I, I, that was my bad. I'll leave it for now. But just okay. so you know, minus three to your Um... And that makes it Matisse's turn. Um, and it because the only light source in the area is uh, Ares' flashlight. It is difficult to see these guys because they do not show up on your thermal well, armor. Well, well and what about my headlamp? If you have the headlamp on. And what about what about um, I have low light vision as well. It like again the only light source is low light. Low light there still requires light. Headlight. <laughs> Oink. Turn headlights on. Do you have headlights on then? Yes. It's a pretty standard feature in a motorcycle. It is, but I don't remember if you put it on there. I know you just put, like, you put, like, a ram plate. I put, I put all the basic features on a motorcycle. Okay. Yeah. Turn the headlights on. You can it, see a little bit. It has on. a back strap, sir, I'm assuming. <laughs> At some point. I don't know. I thought you'd only put a ram plate in a backpack and nothing else. <laughs> um... So if you ever need a flashlight, you can just pull it off your back and then just aim it. Yes, <laughs> it's hold it. Because the most practical flashlight. Yep. Um, what's the opposite of that? So yes. I could ram into one of these with my motorcycle, right? And potentially one of your allies too. How close We're together are they? In melee. Like way too close to be ramming them. Like close enough to have their finger claws in them. Okay. Some of them are physically connected right now. <laughs> so what, what you're saying is instead I should probably pick one up from my motorcycle and then uh, do things with I'm it. I'm saying you should throw your motorcycle into the group. 
<laughs> just pick it up and launch it. Attach C4 to it, too. Just to... to, 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 to boom! If this entire party ever dies, we will be killing whatever this goes isn't down. The, this this isn't the intro to DMC1. Sure it is. Alright, um... Also, you can't deflect a motorcycle with rapid fire from two handguns. I'm sorry, Dante. <laughs> Dante well, can. in that case, I think grappling is probably the most effective method here because once they stop being, once they stop moving, killing them isn't the problem. I'm, I'm not even kidding. The fact that they can't evade. Uh, so let's... not only two handguns, two uh, two uh, Colt forty five like, like semi autos. Someone threw it, throwing someone threw a motorcycle at me. He just went bang, 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 bang until it stopped flying. At and me. he definitely shot them more than twelve times. <laughs> Does it impose any penalties for me to do a ride by? Grapple, like to yes. ride by and grab somebody. Yes, it does. Um, it's, it's a difficult. It's, hard to do it, it's the success threshold is high as well as. Uh, there's a modifier. Like, do I just have to make a good vehicles test, or do I actually have to do that and then? No, there's, there are modifiers to your roll. You can, you can, you've, you've, you've already made a good enough vehicles test to maneuver in the tunnel with the motorcycle. Um, gonna be a minus four to your roll. Yeah. Well, I may just have to tackle one then. To do it, to 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 ride by on a motorcycle and grab somebody's gonna be minus four, yeah. Because you're riding very fast, and I mean, it's not accurate. It's also yeah. Go big or go home. I mean, you only have the the, the hand that has the throttle that's, is the only that's one. That's just your motto, isn't it? Yeah. Is the one you have to have on your bar, so you got to make sure you. Go if you succeed, it'll be awesome. If you fail, it'll be spectacular. Hmm? Proper side. Take risks. Habit. He's got a point. No. Um, <laughs> I, I feel like what I may want to do Take risks. Jump off is ride something. at the thing and then jump off of it with the momentum and then tackle it. Does that impose any penalties? Yes. yes. Minus penalty? four. Really? Yes. Even though my hands aren't on the bike anymore? Yes. It's it's the momentum aspect is the issue. <laughs> momentum should help me. Well, it, momentum helps it, you it with helps speed you with damage, and distance. But it won't help you with dexterity. With accuracy. you're only going one direction. It's Fine. hard to it's hard to change momentum. It's hard to change the directionality of momentum in midair without Unless anything attached flight. to you. <laughs> in that case, I will do this the boring way. <laughs> do it the exciting way. You just have a minus four penalty. You already roll seventeen dice, Austin. <laughs> Come on, do it. Okay, I'll ride by and pick one up. Peer yes. pressure. Roll roll your fourteen <laughs> dice pool. <laughs> It's going to be hard, but it'll be cool if you succeed. And if you fail, it'll be hilarious. Do, and I don't have to make a ride check, do I? No, no, you just have to make the attack. So it's your unarmed attack with minus four. All right. Well, if he doesn't um, have to grab this thing. I feel like I should make my sixes explode. Don't you agree, Holly? <laughs> yes. Yes, I agree. All right, edge. Let's use that edge. Da, 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 bum. Nine successes. That makes it. You ready? <laughs> I, I spent an edge. I think it was worth well, it. Let me let, it let's well let's it. see if he reacts in Did time you to die. Yes. Okay. Let us see. I started by rolling six sixes, and I'm like, I can I can just make this Ridiculous. better. Well, he only made three successes, so you grab him. Funk. Now you have a friend. No, now I have a weapon. <laughs> and you continue you riding slam. past. Oh, you're not going to just, like, ride him across the wall? I was going to say, it's like grind. It's like, you grind him into the wall. Yeah, or, or ground. Uh, I'll say you grabbed the one that... I mean, I was probably going to go for Eon. The oh. one on Eon, because I want to save the Wiggly Fingers. Um, the only one that was really free would have been Cadmus's because he missed and jumped past. Oh, okay. Well, so, then I'll get the free one. Yeah. <laughs> like, you would have had to ride through people to get to the one on you. Know. Hey, that was my kill! <laughs> so, Cadmus, you step back, look to the side, and, and Matisse just comes by. Yoink! <laughs> like, he's not even looking to the side. He's like, step back and lowering the shotgun arm, and then suddenly his prey isn't in front of him anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Ares, uh... Drops his rifle, draws out his longsword. Actually, no. Not a shotgun. We're going to go with uh, hand, hand raisers. Hand raisers. 
They're like fingernails, just sharper. It was the closest shave. For the closest shave. Can you, can you imagine? I'll guarantee you the smoothest, the closest, the closest shave you will ever know. Closest I ever gave. Um, the, uh, can you imagine shaving yourself with your fingers literally made into razors? Just yes. Sh- well, I can't really Closest. imagine shaving this. <laughs> just, that's, just why, that's why I made that scratch, wizard scratch, camp. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Scratch, 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 scratch. Bleeding but you gotta over. be careful, because... Yeah. Ah! Ah! That's, why, that's, why I made, that's why I made that wizard cantrip for my 5th edition cosmetic magic That stuff. must be really disorienting, like, the first... The first week that you have the robotic arm, you're thinking, my eyes really itch. No, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> like, yeah! Doc! Like, Edward did her hands. <laughs> like, h- how could he do anything? I need a new eye! Galvis <laughs> 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 never told anyone how he got that cyber eye. <laughs> so, Ares. Ares. Ares rears back with the long sword, the stepping away from the thing that clawed into him, and as it sort of bears fangs and claws, he just swings out, the sword connecting at the neck and slicing through. And you see a head go tumbling down to the ground. Nice. As he does Wow. As he does his physical limit in damage. <laughs> How nice. Actually, no damage doesn't have a physical limit. He did three more than that. Uh, yeah. As he does, as he does a ton of damage. Uh, that makes it. What did you roll? Uh, thirteen. Cassio and Gilda's turn. Right. Simultaneous. I am gonna shoot the thing that just took a bite out of me. Okay. Or a chunk or whatever. Handraisers use brawling, right? Uh, unarmed, yes. Yeah. How fast are these things moving around? Like, would it be practical to be able to, like... They're pretty They're pretty agile, yeah. Would, would I be able to helpfully interpose between, uh, like, Gilda and the one she's currently shooting? No. Not really? All right. Two. Two successes? That was really bad. I mean, two is better than none. Maybe he'll roll poorly. I mean, guys, uh, wow. Yeah, yeah. That was bad. One success. Also, that's a glitch, isn't it? Because I rolled four. Oh, yeah, that's a glitch. That's you a roll glitch. four ones and one success. It can still succeed. I two successes. Two. Failed. Uh, so, yeah, you <clears throat> you pull out the gun. What kind of gun is this? Uh, this is my pistol. What, what kind of pistol is it? Yeah? It is... Uh, what? Is where's pistol? my second sheet? Oh, here it is. It's all the way back. Sorry. Um, Browning Ultra Power Pistol. Browning Ultra Power Pistol. Yes. What what class what class of pistol is it? Is it a heavy I pistol or a light pistol? pistol? It's heavy. Okay. Um. <clears throat> so yeah, you you uh you 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 swing your gun around. You draw your gun out, swing it around. Click. Gun jammed. Good thing you've got more guns. Yeah, I can drop that. I have another pistol also. Drop that one, pick up the other. Uh, that makes it Cassio. Um. Cassio Montague. Montague. I know, I know, I'm making fun of his name. Capulet Montague. Almost works. Mm -hmm. You're referencing something at least by the same author that one part of my name is from, kind of. So, <laughs> which part? Cassio. Oh. Cassio is a Shakespearean ahead. name. Yep. I'm going to go ahead and I probably still want to have a shield, and it really wouldn't help me a whole lot if I if I turn this thing into a sword because I'm no good with swords. It's all right. If your if your name had ever if your name had ever started with a G, I wouldn't have stopped making burning references. So I'm going to hit this thing with a shield. <laughs> What is the degree, what is the temperature at which paper burns? 457. 451. <laughs> 45300. That's one success. 
One success. Two, what are you doing? Shield slam. Shield slam. All right. Let me take a look at something and see if it rolls. One success. It could roll zero successes. Or double glitch. Oh, snake eyes. But still, like, is Gilda, like, more towards the edge of the party? Or no, like, sort of in the middle. Yeah. Sort of in the middle. The edges, I say, would be Ares and Godmas, probably, actually. Hmm. Well, three successes already. Yeah, no. Four. <laughs> Five. Five successes. So you... Shunk, and it's still there. Mm-hmm. Gotta, get, gotta, gotta work on the aiming aspect of the shield slam right now. I may or may not end up putting karma points into actually being able to use this stuff. <laughs> yeah. Alright, uh, that makes it Eon. I'm going to do a levitation spell on the one that hit me. Okay. Yeah. You are going to try to levitate. Make it float helplessly in the air. Yes. Make it a sitting duck. I would say it's a manipulation spell, isn't it? It's just a pity yeah. yeah. I don't know if it's full of meat. Six. I mean, what else is going to be in it? That's a good roll. Candy. <clears throat> Hatred. Are we talking about pinatas? Yes. Yes. I'm, 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 put, I'm oh, making a meat he's pinata. Le- he's levitating it. It's a pinata full of meat. Pinatas pinata are full, full of, of hatred. Right. What? Pinata full of meat. We're talking about different types of pinatas. I'm just saying it's unique. What force are you levitating at? I have like daggers Six. and maces. Six? Okay, so and I'm now imagining a pinata relay for where you yes. break open a pinata and use the weapon that's inside to break open the next Cartoon. pinata. That would be amazing. Griffin's first birthday party. Let's do this. A meat pinata? So, so you start off with no. a no. and then you break a pinata relay. And then, yeah, or like, or like a, a great it's, sword okay. and you just swing the great sword the next way. It's so got like a war hammer. No, so let's damage. arm the no, so children. Let's right. do it. Uh, so it try, It has to resist that with... What is it? Is it you gotta be really careful about is the one that has grenades in it. It's P. So it has to dodge it. Yes, P. P is dodge. M is willpower. Oh, it has dodge. Drat. I hope we can get it up in, up in the air so we can't dodge anymore. So five successes. One, two, three, four. It fails. So I got him up. Uh, holding him up. You have it levitated, yep. And it's just <coughs> wiggling so around harmless. in the air. Alright. Uh, Unless he spits. That makes it Cadmus' turn. We'll find out, won't we? Well, not as a harmless target in the air. And raises retract, shotgun, dis- shotgun extend. Step forward. Hi! <laughs> Roll your attack. All right. uh, it cannot currently dodge. Unity <laughs> firearms. Get back here. Don't come away from me. That's well, four successes. Four successes. Let's see if it can absorb all of that damage. Well, the Here's damage the I haven't rolled yet. It has. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, were you calling the headshot, or were you just shooting at it in general? Uh, I was just shooting at it in general. Okay. I haven't rolled damage yet. Go ahead and roll damage. You hit. Like you hit with uh f- with four additional da- on your damage dice. Four additional or three additional? You rolled four successes, three additional. Sorry. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, ten, eight, thirteen damage dice. <sighs> shotguns have high damage. Turns out getting shot by a shotgun does not feel pleasant. Uh, it's gonna be... Five damage. Five damage, you say. Five damage? With an AP minus two, I believe is a shotgun. Throw the damage. Omelette de fromage. Do. What was the AP? Yeah, minus two. <laughs> Five damage, you said? Yes. Five damage. Zero successes. It takes five damage. You... <laughs> Alright, that makes it top of the round. Their turn. 
One of them's flailing uselessly in the air. One of them's dead. One of them is in the arms of Matisse, and another one is on the ground still. In the arms of Matisse. Well, uh, in the oversized hand. <laughs> the one in the oversized hand of Matisse lashes out with hands and feet. Well, he has to make a strength on arm check to be able to do anything. You're based on grapple rules. Does he? What yeah. Do, what, how, how do the grapple rules read? Um, so I make a strength plus the number of net hits I'd made, and then he, to escape, has to make a complex action with an unarmed combat plus He's not trying strength. to escape. He's trying to hit you while To, to do anything. Really? He's not going to take... It's, so that's more subduing. This is yeah, more yeah, just you're, grabbing. You, you, you're just yeah. holding him. You're not. Sub, you haven't. You don't have him pinned or anything. Okay. So I'm gonna say you don't have him like fully pinned, and he's just latching onto you. Okay. To deal damage. And I don't. I mean, you can you can drop him to dodge, or you can just take it. Yeah. I'm I'm a bit tanky. You to are. be fair, dropping him at 70 miles an hour probably isn't a fun experience. It's true. I was say that because of the way you're holding him, the only way you could dodge this is to drop. Is to drop him. Uh, He's probably having trouble actually hitting me because we are going really fast. Are you dropping him? No. Okay. Is, does he have any penalties to try to do anything because he's no. in an awkward position? You're holding him. You're holding him in melee range. Yes, but he's moving at, like... All he's got to do is flail. Why, why do I get penalties and he doesn't? Because you were a moving target attacking attacking a relatively stationary target. He's now a moving target attacking the same that, target that that's moving. Horsemen were more effective than groundmen at hitting ground people, right? Yes. When no, they didn't he's not care a ground who, person anymore. He's up in the air. When they didn't care <laughs> he's being who dragged. they were next to and when but they had a weapon in actually, their hand. It depends on if he's being dragged. Or it's if true. He's up in the air, he's, he's, he's I I imagine that you dragged. had picked him up because the way you described it. No, I just grabbed him. You just grabbed, grabbed him, pulled. I grabbed him. Then he has his feet. Yeah, no, I I picture you picking him up. Um, yeah, there, there's a couple of different reasons why cavalry were more effective. You're a, they had weapons in their hands, hands, not just using their hands. B, they didn't care if they hit the person next to the guy. <laughs> and C, the weapons in their hands didn't try to kill them. <laughs> And D, they weren't going as fast as you are. <laughs> well, I mean, I just, imagine this thing isn't going at a full horse's no. gallop yet. No, there's probably. I don't know. I can hit. I can. Uh, I can go thirty. I can get to thirty miles an hour in a in a round. Yep. That thing has several more it's horsepower than a horse does. <laughs> I was just thinking because you know you're currently in a subway system in pitch right. dark, but that's what okay. Am... I have headlights, and it, you know what the when beauty of subways is—they're really, they're really long. Straight. You have headlights; it's safe. They're, they're really long and straight. All right, roll well, body and armor. They're not straight; they just curve very slowly. Yes, they're designed for things to go down them very, very fast. Yep. You know, no. If you were riding by with like an axe and trying to swing at something, you wouldn't have any penalties, because that's just. Whoonk. I keep forgetting that my body and armor is literally just all my dice. I don't know why I keep forgetting this. Turns out, being the party tank, kind of. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> nice. <laughs> no, nothing happens. Like, yeah, he's just the party barbarian, really. He's just sort of scratching at your arm right now. He forgot I'm a troll. He's like an angry cat. Even if I had included all the dice that that, that he would have normally rolled, it wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> Alright, turns uh, out your arm was itchy. It was nice. Uh, that makes it your turn. You um, have no penalties to attacking him now, by the way. Because you're holding it. Hey, you said if I have a weapon, I don't have penalties for ride-by attacks, right? It's correct, if you're using I a weapon. I have a weapon. Yep. <laughs> I'm proficient in that weapon. Go ahead. The ride-by trying to smack the one floating in the air? Uh, there's one, there's one that, that's, that's a, a danger, right? Um, there's, there's one that's the one still... That's next to... Oh, wait, no, it still hits turn, by the way. Yeah. It, it still has to attack. Yeah, yeah, the one next to yeah. Gilda. The one next to Gilda. It still has to attack. No, it doesn't. It's... Actually, you know, it, it, you could just play this like baseball. Just hit the floating one into the stationary one. <laughs> I need you to make a dodge. Reacting to Darn I need you to put together a dodge charger. Um, What's the dodge again? Reaction to Okay. 
Unless you, you can, want to spend, you spend five. Unless you want to spend five of your initiative to uh, to add your gymnastics or acrobatics to it. But that would mean you'd lose your second turn. No, I'm fine. One. Well, that's not enough. Uh, so we need you to roll a body and armor. Minus three. Good thing we have healer. Oh, minus three on yours. It wouldn't have mattered, though, because even if I subtract three from your successes, you still save it all. Yeah. Two. The, the beauty of rolling 24 do dice to soak damage. The beauty of being comrade. Comrade actually rolls more dice than you. Oh, I'm sure he does. Side. He's also combat. He also wears heavier armor than he does. It's true. This was a much higher damage output. Like, I don't actually have very high of damage output. Uh, what'd you roll? Two. Take two physical damage. If I had a combat axe, then I'd have some damage output. Yep. I mean, you got a minigun, you'd have some damage output too. It's true. If I had a walker mech, I'd have some damage output. If I had a if I had a galactic spaceship, I'd have some damage output. Uh, all right, that makes it. That makes it my turn. Your turn. I'm yes. gonna go introduce this Reaper to the one who's uh, haggering Gilda. All right. So good old ride by just a standard. Yep. Um, exotic weapon attack. Yep. Cool. Exotic weapon proficiency, better human body. Technically, this I'm, doesn't count as a metahuman body, but I'll let it. It's close like, enough. It's close enough. It's, 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 it's humanoid. It's, it's humanoid. Just, it's the general idea of being able to use something that is still thrashing and covered in limbs. Six successes. I don't know about the humanoids that you've been interacting with, but I wouldn't qualify as as covered in limbs. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of them. Like, it's... It depends whether I qualify the head as a limb. <laughs> like, it's a giant beanbag with, like, four sticks coming out of it. That's a lot. Picturing or, or just five if you consider limbs. the head, but... Exactly! It ducks! But still, you're not covered in limbs. There's this whole open yeah. area no, right here. So, no, I've got a question. Does me... Because I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm probably having to swing down a little bit. Do I miss and hit this guy into the floor? <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> okay. Because you That's were trying fair. to not hit Gilda. Fair enough. <laughs> So yeah, uh, Gilda, you, you, you hear a <laughs> behind you, and then over your head, another one of these reapers comes flying, aiming at the one in front of you, uh, but the one in front of you ducks down, and he just goes, <laughs> swings past, as Matisse, as Matisse drives by. Why? I'm trying to help. You're not! <laughs> Wait until he comes back the other way. <laughs> Right, uh, that makes it Ares' turn. Ares uh, looks over at the one harassing Gilda and moves over with his long sword. His long sword of creatures decapitating. And he makes a cold shot at the neck again. Cold shot decapitation. Yep. He likes irony. <laughs> decapitation! <laughs> I am not Jack Black. I can't do that scream properly. Decapitation! Very few people are Jack Black. It's true. Only Jack Black is really Jack Black. Yeah. That many successes. Can it dodge? Is the question we're asking because it's out of initiative, so it can't add its acrobatics to it. Targeting a vital shot gives you an extra plus two damage value on the attack. It also allows you to bypass armor. Yeah. Targeting an area that does not have armor on it. Yep. Or targeting an area, an area of weaker armor. It failed to it failed to dodge. So, so the creature ducked, stood back up, and like sort of reared back, and you just see like just a sword swings out over your head towards it. I think you should just, like, sit down. <laughs> yeah, like, Don't uh, like this game! <laughs> you're, you're a dwarf, you're used They're to trying it. To help. No, I'm not used to this! <laughs> it's oh, it's well enough over your head this time. This is, like, you. the first time I'm above! 
No, over your head. Yeah, no. I mean, this is like the first time that I'm like out in the a deadlands. Actually, we're not above I'm ground not anymore. Used to, well, it's so, yeah, and I'm not used to things overhead and death. Like, so yeah, like, this like, this sword bodies comes. Bodies and swords and everything else going this, over your head. So the it's sword. Good you're a dwarf, and you've been hit twice now. The sword comes swinging over your head, catches the creature in the neck, and fly and follows through. The head tumbles off towards you, and just a gout of green, green, blackish blood just sprays all, all over you. She's not happy. <laughs> it also gets him too, but he doesn't care as much. Uh, he then reaches down because, because noting that your gun had jammed, uh, he holds out a weapon off of his belt towards you. Don't worry, she's got three more. She has more. more guns. I mean, he doesn't know that. Plus, wait till you see the weapon he's holding out towards you. Might be getting a sweet upgrade. Is it a gun? I mean, it, it I'm is, presuming. It is a gun, yes. Typically, okay. you would hand a gun to a gunman. Yeah? Yeah. You would think. He hands you, uh... What if I gave you a javelin? He hands you a very large barreled weapon. <laughs> I like that you have weapon cards, by the I way. I do. I have <laughs> weapon cards. Yeah, I, I really only got a very out. brief glance at that. It's, right. it's a Nerf Maverick, isn't it? I'll take it. All right. Let me see it real quick just so I can show the camera. Okay. It is. Oh, it, is a, it, it looks like a Nerf Maverick. It is a Nerf Maverick. It is a Ruger Super Warhawk. Oh, yes. The super heavy, heavy pistol. The Desert Eagle of Shadowrun. The heaviest pistol. <laughs> it is the heaviest pistol. He sort of pulls that off the back of his belt and hands it over to you. All right. She kind of grunts and then takes it. It's heavy. <laughs> Actually, it's not as good as your pistol. Really? Oh, no, it is. Sorry, it's not as good. Okay. okay. It's not as good as your rifle. No, it's not as good as the rifle. Yeah, no, no. Well, that's also it, why I'm using pistols. It's right almost now. as good as your rifle. Okay. In pistol form. <laughs> it's just a pistol. But that thing's going to have some kickback. Yeah, it does. Let's hope so. As I said, it's the Desert Eagle of Shadowrun. It's a good thing you have a ridiculous Which is track. funny because the Desert Eagle is a gun in Shadowrun. Yep. This is why I, want her, I wanted her to have a ridiculous strength. Alright, uh, that makes it... That actually makes it Gilda and Cassio's turn. So, Gilda, you've got a new toy. Uh, is there one? He just killed the one that was attacking He killed the one right? for you, and there's one hovering in the air. I'm going... There's, there's target oh. practice. Yeah. Okay. Um, I will use the pistol he just gave me to shoot the one in the air. Roll you get a attack. cold shot in this thing because you can't miss. <laughs> huh? Cold shot to the head? Cold shot to the head because you can't miss right now. Sure. I mean, unless you roll zero successes. That would not cold shot to the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> you have to have some to, for you to do that. <laughs> The gamer's reference. I yep. did not roll zero successes, not at all. Um, How many successes did you roll? Six successes. Something tells right. me this is about to so a modern So, if you show. look on the pistol, yeah, hey, look, I, I, Jackson you know, Pollock. I, 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 DV, I, I, DV is the damage value. Yeah. Roll that plus five. Ah, uh, yes. Um, doesn't you get plus two because it was a oh, sorry. Shot? Yeah, roll that plus seven. And it gets minus two to its armor. Yep. And but the accuracy, the accuracy rating. That's almost all my turns. The accuracy rating. Oh no, that was the, that was for the attack. Never mind. You're fine. You don't have accuracy doesn't apply to damage. No, it does not. <clears throat> Plus the accuracy rating of all of her pistols is up that by one because physical adept. So these things can do a lot of damage. When their armor is reduced by two and they're floating in the air so they can't dodge, <laughs> this is how many dice they get to roll. <laughs> I need to like install Snake a minigun in my side. 324 Seven. dice. Seven. Seven. Two or three. It's three. And money. One success. <laughs> Splatter all over the wall, it drops. <clears throat> I'm still holding it up. You, 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 like, you, you, you just, starts rotating you in the just, air slowly, <laughs> just, that's not fire, a rotation. make me a, make me a, uh, strength, uh, his strength body check. Make me a strength body check. Yeah. Gladly. How much damage that thing did? It's not going to be rotating uh, slowly. Come back. <laughs> Uh, actually, bullets don't impart a whole lot of force as they pass through. They break everything on the way, but that's part of why. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's a terrible roll. That's fair. 
three. It's also, it's also so super you wrong. fire this gun and it knocks you on your ass. <laughs> you sort of bam, sit down. But when you look up, the head is gone and it's just rotating slowly in the air. Are there any more of these things left? Uh, the one he's holding. <laughs> There's one. There's one that's not going to have a great day. Also, that you all heard that just almost explosion level of sound from this gun. Is it boom? Reverbing down the uh, it's, yeah, like, it's like the first time Will Smith fired that cricket. Yeah, kind of. Except the gun is much bigger than the cricket. I love that movie. Called the noisy cricket for a reason. All right. Um, anyone have anything to do before? Uh... Uh, that makes it Cassio's turn. I really don't have anything to do right now. You could you could erect your shield as a barrier for him to smash the other guy into. Oh, I have a better plan. Don't worry. <laughs> I have a better plan. I don't know. I just like the idea of elephant module activated. <laughs> 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 like jousting practice. I'd really rather. I I know I'm this this armor makes me pretty tanky, but I'd really rather not take a hit from Matisse on a motorcycle. It sounds like a bad idea. All I'm saying is if you activate the elephant module, you could probably catch Matisse and his motorcycle. No, slow slow moving. That's yeah, it doesn't yeah, it, it doesn't, doesn't stop. No, like if you like if you like if you're driving out of here elephant module and just holds No, but, but the problem is the elephant module doesn't does nothing for impact. Yeah, yeah it's lifting. Oh with the jet pack you could probably negate some of the force. Yeah, you jet into it. But anyways. Oh uh, John, you just gonna stand off to the side? Yeah, I'm kind of going to get away from whatever he's about to do. There's a crazy Frenchman on a motorcycle <laughs> that currently wants to make something extremely dead. I want nothing to do with this. All right. And also, chances are there was blood on my shield, too. Uh, Ian? Um, I'll probably start healing people. I'm just going to, yeah, I'm just, just going to drop that levitated body and uh, <laughs> do, do a heal on... Uh, Gilda. Uh, so yeah. this is when we would roll new initiative, but uh, what are you doing happened. to that? What are you doing to that body? Uh, turn the motorcycle around. Call it. Uh, Elvis, have you ever played the British game of cricket? Yes. <laughs> All right, I am bowling. <laughs> ready to sword. <laughs> Drive by. Shing. <laughs> to. Two halves. Uh, one half of the creature falls to the ground. The other one continues on in your grasp. Um, or did so you, you just throw drive it? by and suddenly you just let go? Yeah, just let go. Yeah, so you just let go and just shing. <laughs> More blood all over the place. Hate group chats. Spin the spin the motorcycle around. <laughs> this is a very sharp sword. Very clean cut. He flicks the blood off of it, and you notice there's actually like as dirty as it is from the blood on it. It's mm -hmm. actually not damaged at all. I know, it's a very good sword. I found it in London. Was it perchance in a stone? Uh, no, it was by a lake. <laughs> <laughs> is it actually, is it a broad sword? It's a long sword. Nice. So, these things are very important. Oh, I think I'm good. Yeah, okay. I'm great. Um, they he only took a little bit out of me. I have thus far yet to be hit by these things. <laughs> I've been hit. Didn't you take four points of damage? Me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh you, you okay. Yeah, put up six. So. Yeah, he, yep. He's already right. healed me. Get the magic healing over here. May I assume that there is a nest? Uh, yep. <clears throat> Does this part of the tunnel look any different from the rest of the tunnel other than nope. the Jackson Pollock? Nope. I recommend that we find the maintenance room. Uh, I'll have to go back for that, but... It may have no, cameras or more access points to the maintenance shifts. So. I doubt it'd be working at this point, but man, will check. I try. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna do a quick heal on myself. Were you paying point. attention yep. in magic spook vision during this fight? Yes. No. He did not have I the noticed. red mist. I suspect the I red mist appears when it is hunting prey. Anyway. Yeah. I've also got a feeling that the one that we're chasing seemed a little more anyway, articulate so. yep. than these stragglers. Sure it might be a little myself. special. One, two. 
actually, <clears throat> do these, or at least analyzing what remains of them, do they seem to be about the same as the one we ran into? Or... Yeah. Like they, they, they look very similar. I would like to gather they look, all they their remains into a with... pile and burn it. <laughs> Not quite identical. They, 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 they look similar, but they definitely weren't like making an art installation out of bodies. So... No, 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 they weren't. We also went into their house. I feel like that's where the most art would be. No, I feel like that is where they eat the bodies. They make it for other people. I, I, I... The, the fanciful... The, uh, the fanciful art installation thing going on back there is fairly unique. They don't typically do that. That's why I'm, I'm a little certain that the one that we've just been hunting is a little special. Or, the spirit is attracted to these, and it uses them. Magic's out of my league, dude. You have to talk to you have to talk to Eli about that. It could be some sort of symbiotic relationship. It likes violence. They like violence. They are friends together. In the meantime, gather bodies, burn bodies. Yeah, you gather them. They burn really easily, like surprisingly easily. They have oil in their blood. <laughs> Flamethrower next edition. <laughs> <laughs> All right. A flamethrower that uses flaming blood. No, no, no. A flamethrower for these creatures. If it is on fire. Do I still use gunnery if I'm, like, holding the motorcycle under my arm and firing a flamethrower off for it? No. <laughs> okay. That's going to be long arms at that point. <laughs> uh, wouldn't it be exotic, I believe? Actually, yeah, no, it would be exotic. Exotic weapon. Exotic motorcycle? weapon motorcycle. <laughs> I mean, you're already using that check to uh, look around with the flashlight that is your motorcycle. Also, I'm, I'm pretty certain that flamethrowers by themselves are an exotic weapon. Yeah. Well, but if it's attached to... Anything attached to a vehicle becomes gunnery. Yeah, if you're using it, well, well, it if you're, if you're, Yeah, if you're piloting the vehicle while using it. Well, yes. Yeah. The, the trick here is that you're not <laughs> piloting the vehicle anymore. Like, if you're not carrying the weapon on the turret, then it becomes gunnery. He's carrying the weapon and the turret, though. <laughs> exactly. Once you start carrying it, it stops being gunnery. Yep. So, uh, you all head back to yep. the... Uh, head back to the... Um, to the... Uh, <laughs> that place. You head back to the station. Okay. Turn around, head back. Uh, he, he sort of climbed, clambers back up onto the station platform and leads you, uh, sort of walks back to where the offices are. Um, and a couple of doors later, you guys find yourself in a maintenance room. Um, it's a, it, sort of similar to the maintenance room that you were in at the hotel, just not quite as overdone. Um, it's, there's got a couple racks of servers, a couple of pods that looks like they used to have drones in them, but don't anymore. Uh, and access to maintenance tunnels, and the entire room is powered down. Uh, I... Investment in a generator is probably a good idea in the future. Uh, I mean, yeah. I'm talking we, to myself. Future we plans. have we have we have power inside the Vatican City, but outside here, everything's down. I'm I'm talking to myself. Future plans: mm. installing a generator into some of my cyber technology so I can power these machines. Or just lug one with you. I mean, yes, but that'd be significantly bulkier. You attached to the big man's motorcycle. That would imply that I wanted anything to be in his hands. <sighs> you didn't miss much, he just insulted you again. Uh, I mean, <laughs> that's fine, my character generally auto ignores whatever he says. Do we find the maintenance room? Yeah. Yes. What state is it in? Unpowered. I'm guessing it just it's on a grid and the power supply is gone. Yeah, yeah. And and Aries just explained that they have power in the Vatican City, but they don't have anything here. They don't have anything outside. Okay. Um, but the, all the other maintenance hatches lead here. Mm, yep. Any drones? No, it looks like there used to be drones here, but they're not here anymore. This would have been a perfect place to find some drones. Uh, Actually, have... uh, is there a drone controller here, even if it's powered off? Nope. 
everything of value is gone. <clears throat> is it, this, this place was automated, so it would have been it would have been software, not hardware. Nah. You know the uh, any drones that were here were gone before we got here. When we when we ended up when we came here to scout out for materials, there wasn't anything here already. Matter of fact, I think about it. There wasn't. There weren't any drones anywhere in the city. You know, I can only imagine that a particular friend of ours took them. Uh, generally speaking, I'd be inclined to agree if it weren't you talking. So what you're saying is, I am right, but you do not want to admit it. <laughs> no, I just hate your guts. <laughs> that is fair. You guys have a real team unity thing going on here, I can yeah, see. Exactly. Absolutely. Uh, it's mostly in fun and games. <laughs> no, I genuinely hate him. <laughs> right, uh, he reaches out, he reaches into his bag, pulls out a towel. And I just give him a bit of an sort of like, sigh. Wipes, him, like, wipes some of the blood off of himself. And then passes it over to Gilda. There you go, princess. You look like you'd use it. <laughs> she shoots him a look when he calls her princess. When you said shoot, I was very first. <laughs> <laughs> As the sentence just stops and she shoots him. <laughs> the they gun said he gave bring her. him back dead or alive. <laughs> she takes it and fires I, herself I thought off. you said he got killed by a reaper. Why is there a giant <laughs> bullet hole in his skull? Why do you have his gun? <laughs> Don't question. Why is it that his gun put the giant bullet hole in his head? <laughs> no, she just shoots him a look, grunts, and takes it. He does. He has no reaction on his face. It's just completely bland. Right, so you guys have a plan for this or what? Well... Aside from using a metric uh, ton of explosives to, it would not take a metric in, ton. Cave in these maintenance shafts. Unless we can find their nest, I'm afraid we're mostly out of luck for killing them all. The question is, if we even if we do find the nest, how do we know it is the only one? That's fair. I got a couple of them, so I'm happy there, but. I do want to know what's up with that one that I was hunting. Yes. One, one of them seems to be possessed, is the best way that I can put it. Well, I guess that's a problem for us, though. The better question is, do you think the one that is possessed would come down here with the rest, or...? No idea. It was roaming with a couple others. Don't know if it's from the same pack or not. It could possibly be that each nest maybe has some kind of a leader of some variety that is like a possessed. priest or a shaman or something. Possibly. Or they conquer it around the spirit. The spirit leads them to their prey. Precisely. It's hard to also say how many of these spirits there could be. Um, remembering back to their bodies, did they have any sort of reproductive organs? You didn't really thoroughly investigate before you started burning them. Yeah. So you had no idea. That might be... Do I remember seeing anything, like, obvious? There was no flopping wang, if that's what you're talking about now. Thank you for that. <laughs> Truly, thank you. No. We may want to find one and dissect it. It's a relevant question if they reproduce naturally or if they are actively magically created. That's fair. We've been, th we've been trying to research them as much as we can, but it's hard to get specimens. Well, let us get you some well, specimens. we had a pile of them, and then we lit them on fire. <laughs> yeah. Let us find some more. I do not think we shall lack for finding some. No, unless they, get, unless they decide to go into hiding because we killed four of them. Well, six of them. Kind of the two I did. Take a look. Yeah, roam around and take a look. Well, we can always head back to the city. See if we find any on the way. Alright. Head up and uh, yep. head back and just keep a lookout for any strange signs of dead things. Give me intuition and perception, everybody. Ooh, and I'm, I'm still all, all up in the astral. 
These things have not been registering astrally. But the spirit did. The spirit did, they had not. Goodness. Three successes. They, they, they are, from what you can tell, they are not magical themselves. Yeah. I'm looking for that weird red mist thing. <clears throat> yeah. Are these five successes? Oh, yeah, one success. One success, five successes. Six. Six. I don't Four. Anything. Four. I'm not even paying three. attention. Got it. All right. Eon's just... Eon's I'm just, just walking. I'm just walking. <laughs> just walking. Just looking around. Eon don't Seeing what care. they're to see. Don't give a fuck. Um, Ooh, look at the pretty... You don't notice... You don't, You you do not notice the... um Any sort of spirit or creature. Again, that, that, that heat generating thing. Uh, you do, as you guys get closer to the Vatican, you do notice that there's some sort of shimmering dome around the city itself. In the astral plane. Around the, the Vatican specifically? Around the entire section of the city, yeah. From the, generating from the wall up and out. I look over Ares. None of your compatriots have magic, no? No, several of them do. Oh. Our leader, Eli, is one of the more powerful mages in the group. I thought they said there was not their specialty when I asked. I must be misremembering. I don't remember if you... I don't think you asked about magic. I, I said something about magic. It may have been that specific thing wasn't their specialty. Yeah, okay. I don't remember what you said, if you said it. I'm assuming they have a magical world around the Vatican. Yep. It is nice. Thank you. I can't see it, so I don't know. <laughs> Did, did I perceive anything not astrally? You know, like in the real world? No. Okay. Nothing Nothing out of the ordinary. Yeah, as you guys go along, nothing seems to come out. It seems like whatever the, 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 the activities you guys have been enjoying seems to have caused the place to calm very much so. Interesting. Seems like whatever you did drove things into hiding, or they're just not active right now. Alright, well, I'll go back to the city. Let's go back and, you know. Nope. See what they want to... You get back. Um, there's a pair of guards waiting for you when you get back to the gate. As they open it up for you. Let you in. Um, as they, they, they do, they sort of recognize Ares and wave him over. And he sort of explains what's been going on. You also hear him detail a location uh, of, of, for materials. It looks like he was scouting out locations. Not necessarily bringing back armfuls of stuff by himself. Um... And uh, they get on they get on the radio and uh, pass information out to other folks that'll I mean, you suspect will go out and running to grab stuff. And you are all brought back to Elia, who is sitting in that armory that you guys uh, that that they first first would explain the situation to. Well, thank you very much for returning Ares to us. Uh, as I said, you, you have free access to any parts you might need. Perfect. I have a quick question. Mm -hmm. I have been told by Ares that you are skilled in magics. Yes. Are you familiar at all with spirits? No. I'm a hermetic mage. Interesting. Is anyone in your group familiar with spirits? We don't have any shamans here. Not in particular. We're because mostly you hermetic. have one loose in Rome. And I'm not, wouldn't be surprised. There are spirits all over the However, place. It is not a regular spirit. It is a mist, a red mist of violence and hatred. It actually emits warmth <laughs> on the regular world. It also appears to like creating art installations. What kind it's of dead art? mutilated bodies. Oh. Spelling out words in English. Ares goes, yeah, it's the trail that they leave on occasion, the Reapers. Oh. It likes using the Reapers. So you're saying the trail isn't made by them, it's made by some other entity. Using them. them. Using them, yes. Hmm. Interesting. We'll send out a couple of mages next, er, next time we go out hunting and see if we can't find that. It also might be useful to use thermal vision. It is not a, the strongest radiating aura, however it will radiate heat as well. So those, even those of you who do not use magic might be able to see it thermally. Thank you for that information. Uh, that's good information to keep. You should keep a hold of that just in case you run into any more of these creatures. Oh, I've already logged most of this down. Good. good. 
Anyways, I'll show you where our spare scrap is so you can armor plate your vehicle. I appreciate that. And then we'll get on our way. Yep, and she shows you to their bunker of scrap. Basically, it's a it's a giant dumpster that has a lot of metal. I would in like it. to armor our hover vehicle. All right, give me a automotive mechanics roll. Logic. Yep. Um, how long will it take to armor this thing? Depends on how well he rolls. At minimum, a couple hours. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven, eight. Out for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Eon, Eon finds a corner and passes out. Standing eight successes. Up, face against the wall. Um, well, <laughs> eight successes. Yeah, you 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 get a patch. It probably take about three hours three to hours. to get it patched up. I look over. I would love to see one more of these reapers. Like uh, Harry said, to get a sample, send the data back. You do not have this in your archives, do you? At the deadline? Nope. It may be relevant. <clears throat> at the very least, um, I go find Ares. Yep. The two that you killed, mm -hmm. their bodies, were they just left there? Yeah, I was kind of hunting the third one at the time. Would you be up for a recovery? Uh, if they're still there, sure. I'm curious. The rest of you interested? I'm sure he will want to sleep. It should be pretty quick. How, how far out is it? Uh, you just ask him. Uh, he, he's like, um... He's over on the east-west. You know, it's on the west side of town. Uh, a couple blocks out from the out from the gates. Should not take long. The first one, at least. The second one, I think, was underground. Let us go take a look. Is anyone else going? I suppose I'll follow along. I was about to say, and this is how Matisse dies. <laughs> what about Gilda? <laughs> Gilda's a little not okay right now. She's good where she is. Okay, well, Ares, Matisse, and the power suit. And the power and the and the power armor never returned, and Cadmus was annoyed. Cadmus <laughs> <laughs> was annoyed because the power armor was gone, not because we, we of Cassio a, being dead. We can take a team to go. It's all right. I have the plans for them downloaded, so I can just make more when we get the manufactory. There we go. All right, we we go out and follow Ares to the first body. Uh, yeah, you get there, and there is indeed a body there. The manufacturing What shape is it in? Magic uh, it's been a couple of days. <laughs> I it's, need to get some mages it, on it. Uh, you sort of look over it and make me a logic medicine roll. I don't have any, so I have nothing in the way of medicine, but Cassio here. Yep. He has, he has medicine. So you make me too. Logic medicine? Logic medicine. medicine. <laughs> hey, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Encyclopedia. Five, look at this. Six. Go. What is it, medicine and what? Logic. Logic. Logic medicine. <gasps> One, two, three, four, five successes. That was a good roll. Um, it looks like the internals of this creature are mostly liquid. It is a definitely a exoskeleton carapace that, that sort of holds everything together, which probably explains why it's still limber. Um, but it's more humanoid than any insect yeah it definitely it, it it like you sort of search through the goop and it's definitely insectoid mm -hmm. um but humanoid, human, shape. humanoid insect. shape insect it has more in common with an insect than a human does this thing uh, reproduce the way you would expect uh, does any of does <laughs> Does it you, not you're, make sense? Your assumptions lead you to believe that it would reproduce the same way an insect would. Okay. This thing has more in common with a cockroach than a human, really. Or a grasshopper. Does, more does, like a fly. No, does, does it seem like... Because... Does obviously it, this is radioactively mutated. So it's probably mutated from some large variety of bug if I had to take a guess. Uh, make me a... Because I imagine... Pre, make me a pre-war... Do you have a pre-apocalypse history? Yeah. Make me one of those. Logic pre-apocalypse history. One, one, two, three, four, five... Go. You, you say more like flies, and I'm just imagining the maggot version of these things. I'm just chest bursters. <laughs> it's a fly Four successes. Um, so, just based on its carapace alone, uh, you imagine it might have been some relative to a scorpion. 
um, some it's like it's like like some variant of a scorpion or other exoskeleton uh, arachnid ex- arachnid insect crossover somewhere in, down the line. Um, Isn't there actually a, a, a scorpion called a death stalker? Scorpions are arachnids, I believe, but yes, um, yeah, but it's in that same sort of close family uh, classification. Um, uh, and, like the the closest thing you could think of, like looking at it, it screams. Looking at it, it screams scorpion on the outside, but the internals are more like a cockroach or or an insect. Hmm. Um, so that's like that's something in the middle. Obviously, conventional biology doesn't really have a whole lot to say about this, but it seems like. Some kind of large mutated scorpion, essentially, if I had to draw some kind of connection. Would you guess that this thing uh, has a colony like an ant, where it has worker drones? Ant's another one that it could be. And, uh... Now that you think about it. How do you say? A queen that produces all of their young. <clears throat> you kill the queens, they have no way to reproduce, or do they reproduce on an individual level? Like a Make scorpion me, uh, or a spider? Do you have biology? I don't have biology. Make me, make me, uh, biology is the only knowledge that would really apply here. Uh-huh. So you can default if you want, which is a minus two. Which is a minus two? Yep. Logic minus two. Sure. I forgot, spending an edge can give you a, uh, what kind of a bonus? It, uh, it doesn't, it can't give you a straight bonus. It can let you re-roll all your failed dice or explode your sixes. It can also add, it also adds the, your your edge in dice to your roll. Yeah, you can do it. I could use that to just go ahead and add four to this roll. You want? So, I've got edge, I can do this. Okay. So logic minus two, plus four, so plus two. That would be... Yeah. Two successes. This, while you can't say anything about the structure of the pack or hive or whatever, uh, you would refer to this particular type of creature as a drone. Like, like that, like, an, a, anatomically wise, it doesn't serve, it, 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 anatomically wise, it serves okay. one purpose. It is a, it is a, it is a purpose-built organism. Um, as far as you can tell, uh, which is sort of a class, like the default classification of a drone. A drone is a purpose-built organism in a hive, mm-hmm. um, whereas a queen is a multi-purpose organism. Um, so, th- theoretically, maybe could be an ant-like structure. You're not sure. It seems to be extremely specialized, probably indicative of it being some kind of a drone organism. So it would make sense if there was some specific queen organism, some leader organism. And that would also make sense why perhaps the spirit would be attracted to them. It would only have to control one of these individuals to control all of them. Hmm? It's minus one, not minus two for default. Oh, minus I just one. looked it up, That's right. I was curious. I mean, success has worked. Yeah, I'm just, for, for future reference. Yes, minus one or minus two. <clears throat> all right. Aries is standing, leaning back. So it's a bug colony? Essentially. Well, I guess it won't matter if we kill them as long as we don't kill the leader. It also means that, um, you know what happens when you, uh, spray for ants? He hasn't been out here long, has he? No. Not particularly. We haven't, long, we haven't sprayed for ants for 175 years. Uh, when we <laughs> sprayed for ants back where I'm from, what happens is, the ant colony dies down, and you think the problem is solved. The problem is they are rebuilding their underground network, knowing that you are now a threat. They send scouts out, poke the perimeter, find the weakness, and then overrun it. If you do I not... don't know what kind of ants you dealt with, but I don't think we ever had insects overrun a house. Uh, they do. At least not <laughs> well. here. Actually, the difference South between America, well, the uh, the the yeah, South America is the, 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 the yeah. army ants, you South, know, the, the way yes. they take over uh, yes. little colonies down there. Aries isn't from South America. 
And Aries wasn't born with the internet, where that was the sort of thing where you just looked up. Mm -hmm. um, it is not so much that ants will overrun the house, but they come back in greater force. But they are ants, so it is a nuisance at best. These are... not a nuisance at best. No, that's fair. I pick up the body. I believe we will. can return with this. Alright. You guys lug a decapitated body of a drone, of a what you are now referring to as a Reaper drone, uh, back to the Vatican. Right. I've taken a bunch of pictures, by the way, and uploaded them to our network. Yep. As, yeah. as well as uploading all the Vatican data. You occasionally While get a message. I was investigating the body, I definitely made sure to log it. You occasionally get a message back from the uh, communication server going, What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Whoever's monitoring your feeds is getting a, having a very interesting day. <laughs> and probably going to have a very horrible night. Just another day in the life of the post apocalypse. Yeah, I was um, saying, if you're not used to this, you're never gonna sleep. <laughs> well, these are the people who go above ground. Yeah, these are people that are back at the headquarters, re relaying communications. At worst, they clean up the uh, at worst they clean up the messes made by the machine gun turrets. <laughs> sweep the brass. That's probably a chore that somebody has to do. Yes, and it's not the guards because they have to be able to shoot the guns if if it needs more. If like in the middle of sweeping, if something else comes back, they have to be able to shoot the guns. So. So yeah, I, we return to the Vatican with this unless anything tries to stop us. Yeah, nothing does. Everything seems to be very calm right now. Uh, I, I walk into the, the lady's, you know, head office and drop a corpse. <laughs> oh, you got one. Aries goes, no, we say, I'm, I'm right now is what I meant. I it is a uh, drone, it turns out. You're going to need to explain that. Essentially, it, from what it seems like with how specialized these are and... From their insect-like biology, they're really more similar to scorpions than anything else. What likely happens is it's a full colony of these led by perhaps a single queen or leader organism. Like and ants. the spirit we'd seen before was probably possessing that one. It would be the most benefit for it. It only has to possess one organism to gain control of the entire colony. So, ant scorpion mutant hybrid things essentially yes well that's a little bit more heavy of a term than reapers we're gonna keep calling them that but that's <laughs> uh good to know i guess oh we'll keep an eye out for one that seems smarter than the others i guess the uh, question is how to find the queen and zina i mean we just simply don't have the technology to do that right now we need ground penetrating radar scans something like that Maybe in the future. I'm nowhere near any of these conversations. I'm working on a car. Yeah. <laughs> that is fine. We do not need him. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about ground penetrating radar, you actively need the engineer. <laughs> He's an engineer, too. Uh, not that kind of engineer. I mean, you know. I'm a mechanic. Yeah. Uh, if you guys find anything that could... That, that, that might be the key to salvaging the rest of the city. We probably make the rest of Rome a livable place if we had something to deal with that colony. We will talk to uh, our engineer, see if we can possibly figure anything out as far as... I'm sure there will be something where we are going. Well, thank you again for the information. Uh, we'll keep an eye out, see if we can find any more information. In the meantime, feel free to rest. There's, you can get some food while you're here, and then we'll send you on your way. Thank you for the armor plating. It will protect us from Cadmus's rather poor driving. Well, I mean, I wouldn't want <laughs> I to... I'm a better driver than you are. I no, you are not. I yes, would, I am. I wouldn't want to drive around the, uh, the wasteland in an unarmored car anyways, so... I'm also a better driver with more types of vehicles than you are. But you are not a better driver with this vehicle. <laughs> Meanwhile... <laughs> So, yeah. Cadmus is working on a car, the rest of you are resting and eating. So guess, how, yeah. how much karma is a specialization? Uh, I believe it is either two or four. You are asking me when I don't have the book I open. would find it for you. So, I don't know. Um, but, Sorry. after you, you, you eventually get the uh, car plated up, it now has an armor rating. Your yeah. vehicle stats are now... Equivalent to uh, 
Hang on. I mean, it's not going to be super helpful to just tell me right now because I I kept it on my character sheet. Uh, I can well. just hand you a card, though. Yay. Yay! Woohoo! And the card can live here. It just... there. It is the equivalent of... hang on. I had it and I lost it. Well, it doesn't look like this. Here it is. And it has slightly more seats. Yeah. It is the equivalent of this Proteus Lamprey, which is actually a hover vehicle. Lamprey. Uh, all the stats, I believe those stats match up with the exception of the seats. Uh, seats, it'll, it'll have eight seats, not four. Hover truck. This is a submarine. We go overland with ours. Is it a submarine? Yeah. I could. Same thing. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> one travels through a very dense liquid, one travels through a very not dense liquid. Same thing. Yeah, do you can... not Do a not dense at gas. <laughs> it's a liquid. Fluid dynamics doesn't care. I mean, this is true. Actually, no, aerodynamics and fluid dynamics are different things. No, they're not. Not really. I mean, they follow the same physics. The physics of water and the physics of air are governed by the same. Oh, wait, hang on. Hand that back. I have a better one. I have a better comparison. Yeah. So, Marin. This is a better comparison. Aries Roadmaster, only a hover vehicle. Okay. Yep. That makes more sense. Only a hover vehicle, not with wheels. And it has the wheels are overrated. It probably has the correct armor too. So, eighteen armor sounds good. Yep. All right. So you have armor plated your vehicle. In the morning, you set off. Is there anything you guys want to do before you leave? Any conversations you want to have? I want to. I want. I want to run Matisse over. No, I can't. Any questions you want to do? Well, you can run him over. Fortunately, it's a hover vehicle. So yeah, hover vehicle, so it just feels like a bump, and it doesn't hurt him at all. I mean, until you get hit in the chest by two tons of metal. I just kind of want to go around and just take a closer inspection of the Vatican in general, what, for what kind of shape. It's in. <laughs> Mostly intact, like we, like you guys discovered earlier, except for the cathedral itself that was apparently dropped on a dragon. Uh, kind of... And which you wouldn't like when you get near it, your your uh, guard counter does start ticking up when you get near to the cathedral, mm -hmm. um, which would seem to indicate that yeah, there was something in there. Is the corpse of the dragon still here? You can't get close enough to notice what you can't get close enough to really tell. Okay. You can't. Someone oh, I know. You can. Radioactive. You can because you, I forgot your suit. Yeah. Yes, there is a corpse there. I just kind of want to take a closer inspection. You you can. Hey, you can you can finally take the anatomy of a dragon and send it back for research. Yeah, I mean that's not something we've been able to do. That's true. I want to document this thing because you know just generally documenting anything surviving in the Vatican, but also yeah, yeah, the dragon is a big. Uh, I, I don't know how uh, how much it would biodegrade either. Being so radioactive, any you know bacteria <laughs> that might want to eat it would. Go ahead and make me a uh, uh, first medicine check. Messenger? Oh. Its physiology is a lot it's like a com its physiology is a lot like a giant Komodo dragon with wings. Basically, yeah. Komodo dragons with rings and a and a and a uh, a spit sack of some kind. Uh, Komodo dragons have that. Oh, that was awful. Is it filled with oil that they can light on fire with their teeth? No, it's just full of venom. Yeah, but. Very lethal venom, not fire venom, but still. That's awful. Wait, no, that's a. Actually, that's a glitch. I could. <laughs> you can, I still you got can, two more edge points. You can use an edge yeah. point to re roll and, and, any and of your we, failures. We can rest soon. You get your edge back when you rest. Yeah. And I'd re roll the failures and add the dice pool bonus. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to do that. But you keep. Um, you keep the count of the number of ones. So it doesn't negate a glitch. Right. Yeah, so yeah. You, ha you have to roll more successes to get away from the glitch, basically. Okay. I only need more and you more. keep the ones, that, the ones that were successes, you keep those. So. One, two... Okay, that's four successes. There we go. Okay, does that count as a glitch? No. Nope. You still glitched? No, no four successes. Okay, I okay. did not a glitch. Okay. Um, that's what I said. I asked if it countered Oh, the we, we heard count as a glitch. Sorry, yeah. countered the glitch. Uh, so, uh, yeah, these are very physiologically very similar to Komodo dragons, but massive. 
um, and with wings. Um, mm-hmm. They they so it looks just from what you can first gather on your initial bot pass. Uh, they have a they have an oil sack uh, located in, roughly roughly under their tongue um, that they can you you sort of like squeeze it with your with your hands and oil springs out of its mouth. Um, and and their teeth are very sharp and their their tongue is like almost sandpapery. Uh, it actually, as you infect it, it's got like bits of flint in it, like in the tongue. Uh, so you imagine that the way it breathes fire is it squeezes that thing, oil sprays out, it and clicks its, its teeth. Steel. Yeah, and basically it, it it's a flamethrower. Like it hmm. it clicks its teeth to promote to promote a spark that lights the oil on fire as it breathes. Which also explains why the fire is radioactive, because the fuel is this radioactive oil that is built up in the in the, uh, in the dragon's ducts. Um, <clears throat> you you sort of take a sample out of it. Uh, you have a bit of meat from it. Yeah. Um, Probably possibly one of the scales too. Yeah, uh, and you do find you sort of get into a bit of the bone, and you do find that their bones are hollow. They have a lot of muscle, but the bones are hollow. Interesting. Like birds. Hmm? Like birds. Yeah. They they can fly. Interesting. And actually as you as you continue to look over the body, uh it seems like the most muscular part of them is actually their back. Which makes sense because that's how they fly. That's yeah. where all the all the torque for the wings comes from. Um obviously logging all this and much from Yep. Yeah, so uh, just from your initial foray, you'd have to you'd have to do a more in-depth uh, uh, sort of uh, autopsy to that you you just don't have the utensils to do here to get more information. But yeah. very well muscled, you know how their breath mechanism works, and that they that yeah how they fly. Awesome. Good to know. Good to know. How much of the Citadel, or how much of the area that was collapsed on it survived? Uh, well, there's a broken statue of St. George sticking out of it. <laughs> um, and, uh, like, they, they, it looks like they strategically collapsed one of the towers onto it, of the cathedral. Mm-hmm. So, like, just, like, everything above it came crashing down, puncturing, crushing, and piercing. Yeah. Um, but the rest of the cathedral is mostly intact. All right, I'm just going to general principle. Go around with my, um, with with the trophy, and just sort of log the floor plan, log everything that's yep, surviving. You, you can do that. You log all that information, and cool. then you all rest and wake up in the morning. Or is there so, anything else anybody else wants to do? The, the, the thing, the the body was not uh, decomposed at all. Or, no, not at all. <laughs> nothing could survive <laughs> to get, start eating it. Um, actually, I'm going to ask if someone. We had a box. Like, how long ago the radio. dragon was killed? A couple months ago. A couple months ago. Wow. There'd be a way to put uh, the, the, the heart and liver on ice. Uh, we don't have any lead lined. Uh, oh. We don't have any lead lined cases or anything. Oh, okay. Just to take it back yeah. to the De- mages. To decomposition without well. scavengers takes years. If you could, uh, like, if you guys brought back some sort of uh, lead line carrying vessels, you're more than welcome, welcome to ha- help yourself to it. We just don't have anything that we don't have anything strong enough. Like, we have a couple of rad, rad suits that, that will be used to plant the explosives, but outside of that, yeah, we don't have anything. Okay. Well, we'll certainly want to keep communication. It's good to have allies. Yes, it is. It's a lonely world currently. So I guess. So with the dragon slightly uh, examined, um, with a small batch of these reaper uh, creatures killed and examined, and with your newly armored uh, vehicle, you are all prepared to set off north towards Germany from Rome. To try to find the uh, fabrication unit in a manufactory in Germany. And potentially some answers as to what was going on with those crazy bandits that attacked the cryostation in the first place. And with that information, fresh in your mind, a new gun in one of your hands, 
that was pointedly not returned. Um, <laughs> Mine. Oops. Uh, you didn't care. Um, and a whole new bevy of things flying over your head experience. That's what we'll call tonight to a close. So, okay. we have been Final Show Films, and you just unplugged the monitor. <laughs> <laughs> Can you adjust the feature? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> oh, wow. The computer didn't go off. The computer didn't go off. I just lost sight of everything. Oh, okay. Uh, so, we <laughs> have been trend, Final Show Films, which is a wide variety of content well, every day of the week. You can check us out on our website at FinalShowFilms.com. You can check us out on our Patreon page at patreon.com slash fsfilms. Don't support us financially. You can do so there. Thank, oh, you to all, thank you to all of our $20 tier supporters, Chris Comfort, Antitonic, and Cat Water Flame, as well as all of our other Patreon supporters. We appreciate all of you. Um... Uh, I can't do the cat thing. We also like to thank the folks over at 411mania.com. If you uh, like all men are things geek culture, uh, you can go check them out if you want to hear. Literally just a Kermit flail. If you want to hear about the aftermath of the Conor McGregor, uh, of the uh, the Conor McGregor and um, Mayweather. Floyd, Money, Floyd Mayweather Jr. fight. Uh, you can go check that. You can go check out information about that if you want to read uh, information about new, the latest TV shows, episodes of Game of Thrones, movies that have come out. Go check out uh, 41mania.com and gaming news such as all of our podcasts. You can go check them out over there. We appreciate them. Uh, and we appreciate all of you guys. If you're watching on Twitch, be sure to feel free to subscribe. Uh, remember, we are Twitch. We are Twitch affiliates, which means that you can subscribe to us. And if you have a uh, Amazon Prime account, you get a free five dollars subscription to any Twitch channel of your choice. We you don't have it doesn't have to be us. We appreciate it if it is, but you know whatever. Um, uh, ba -ba -da -ba. Um, also, if you're watching on YouTube, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe below. We appreciate all, the, all of our new subscribers and all of our new people commenting on our stuff. Uh, I do read the comments, even if I don't... I, I try to respond as much as I can, but if it seems like there's nothing I can say, then I might not. But uh, know that we do appreciate your responses. So, thanks for watching, thanks for chatting, and thanks for being with us on this crazy, weird thing that we're doing. So, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Say goodbye, everybody. Bye. Goodbye, everybody. Oh, well. Goodbye. <laughs>